Hey, Grandma. Grandma. Oh, whatever, she can't hear me. Okay, so we're going to make a new curves layer and see what we can do with the eyedropper, the mid-tone eyedropper to be exact. So selecting that, and let's just pretend that I had a tone card in here initially. And if I did, it would actually match the levels in the photo, but because it doesn't, clicking it is going to create some interesting effects. And you can see things got a lot warmer there, turned a little green there, back to warm, etc. So you can make some interesting color changes doing that, and you can also do that by using other colors. So let's bring up a color card. There we go. These are weird colors, and we're getting some differences there. What's actually happening is, if you take a look at when I select the blue there, let's just... There we go. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit more back to normal. When we use the eyedropper, it's looking for a neutral gray point. Instead of actually giving it a neutral gray point, what we're giving it is a blue or a red or an off-white. And so what it does when it gets that color is it says, oh, this is supposed to be gray, so I'm just going to try to neutralize that color to make it neutral gray. And that's why it ends up getting warmer when you give it a cool color and vice versa. So you can take that effect that you had, make your adjustments and curves to make it a little bit more to your taste, and then you have a photo with some decent color correction with very little work.